Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World video where today we're going over the Jurassic Saga and discussing some of the numerous scenes that were deleted from these six movies within this saga. Over the course of this 30 year saga we've been treated with some amazing movies, amazing scenes and a great series as well as some short films mixed in there as well. However, what some people don't seem to delve too deep into were the deleted scenes of these movies. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do today. There are loads of deleted scenes from this franchise, but today we're going to be discussing the best 11 deleted scenes from my personal opinion. Now, I know the title says 10, however there's one scene that really sticks out to me that I wish to include into this video as well, kind of like a bonus scene let's say. But for now, when you're ready, go get some snacks, relax, as it's time to delve deep into the deleted scenes of the Jurassic movies. The Lost World's Deleted Raptor Species Starting off this list, we have a scene that mainly involved a deleted dinosaur species rather than a specific scene itself. During the production of Spielberg's sequel, The Lost World Jurassic Park, the script underwent nine revisions, encompassing a variety of concepts such as an alternate conclusion and an increased number of dinosaurs, despite the abundance of new species already present. However, among these ideas, there was one that intrigued the fans and piqued their curiosity. As per Spielberg, there were intentions to introduce a creature referred to as the Super Raptor. However, Spielberg ultimately decided to discard this concept due to concerns that it would veer too heavily into the horror territory and resemble an extraterrestrial similarity to an alien-like creature. Nevertheless, Spielberg eventually incorporated elements of the Super Raptor into the character known as the Indoraptor from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. It is also thought that the Excavoraptor would have been a similar designed creature that was also later cut from this franchise, a Velociraptor looking dinosaur that could bury and burrow underground. Jurassic Park's alternate ending While the initial film received widespread acclaim for its conclusion, there were actually preparations and storyboards for an alternate ending. After triumphing over the raptor pack, the T-Rex known as Rexy would pursue the protagonists, intensifying the suspense as they made their escape awaiting on a helicopter. During the chase, Rexy would chomp down on the helicopter's runner, attempting to drag it down, but ultimately failing as the aircraft managed to break free and soar away. This particular sequence underwent significant revisions and adaptations, eventually transforming into the opening scene of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, where Rexy fiercely attacks the intruders on her island. We can kind of see how all of these deleted scenes would later be used in a similar but different fashion in later movies. Fallen Kingdom's Tyrannosaurus Rex vs Spinosaurus Rematch The clash between the colossal reptiles stirred up considerable controversy in Jurassic Park 3, to the extent that it was even satirized in Jurassic World with Rexy breaking through the Spinosaurus decoration skeleton on Main Street. Despite the divide of opinions, there are fans who only desire the return of the Spinosaurus, but also yearn for a rematch between the newcomer and the second veteran, Rexy, aiming to establish who truly reigns as the queen of the Jurassic franchise, or king if the Spinosaurus wins. This long-awaited rematch nearly came to fruition in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. During the dramatic evacuation amidst the destruction of Isla Nublar, an original concept involved a monumental showdown between Rexy and the Spinosaurus. However, this concept was eventually substituted and instead viewers witnessed an intense battle between the Carnotaurus and the Cynoceratops. Unfortunately again, something similar was also removed very early on during the drafting stage of Jurassic World Dominion. The only rematch we have now pretty much exists in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 5, which is 100% canonical to the main timeline and involves the original Spinosaurus from Jurassic Park 3 confirmed. The Lost World's San Diego Family Incident in the Lost World Jurassic Park, there is a memorable scene where the Buck Rex intrudes into a residential backyard and proceeds to quench its thirst from a swimming pool, startling a young boy residing within the house. This particular scene is intended to elicit some dark humour, highlighted by the fact that the parents witness their dog being devoured by the Buck Rex as they scream in horror at the sight of this Tyrannosaurus. Interestingly, in the original script and deleted behind the scenes image, the sequence was intended to have been more frightening. 
the Buck Rex was meant to forcefully break through the wall, startling the entire family. Although this scene was filmed, it never made its way into any version of the movie upon its release. But, by the sounds of it, it seems like a really cool scene that I'm sure plenty of fans would love to see someday, and we can only hope they release the footage of the scene sometime soon. Fallen Kingdom's alternate opening sequence What was initially held as a remarkable prologue to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, evoking a sense of return to the franchise's origins, with the thrilling encounter between Rexy and the Mosasaurus amidst the storm, it was originally envisioned to be completely different. Early concept art of the film provided a tantalizing glimpse of an alternate scenario, involving whalers pursuing a group of unfortunate marine mammals, only for both parties to become targets of the escaped marine reptile. In this version, a whale would meet its demise, followed by an epic battle between the Mosasaurus and a colossal boat, all preceding the striking title card. Very similar to what is seen in the first Meg movie, this intriguing revelation prompted fervent speculation and hopeful anticipation amongst fans, as they pondered the question whether this scene would be reimagined or reincorporated into Jurassic World Dominion, and thankfully, the filmmakers indeed delivered something remarkably similar. As showcased by the Mosasaurus leaping onto a fishing boat in the Bering Sea, generating excitement and satisfaction amongst the fans. How Junior Broke His Leg in the Lost World Jurassic Park in the final version, it is assumed that Roland, the character who appears more honourable, is responsible for injuring the infant Tyrannosaurus's leg. An omitted scene reveals that it was actually a drunken Peter Ludlow who carelessly stumbles and breaks the leg of the young Tyrannosaurid. Including this scene would have achieved two objectives, intensifying the audience's aversion towards Ludlow and making his ultimate fate even more gratifying. It would have showcased Buck, the adult Tyrannosaur, incapacitating Ludlow by biting his leg, forcing him to crawl away while the infant dinosaur prepares to deliver the final blow. Revenge can be a merciless force. Udeski's fight against the Velociraptors in Jurassic Park 3 Initially, Udeski's fate was intended to involve more than just being killed by the pack of Velociraptors there and then. After falling, Udeski was meant to quickly seize a substantial branch and use it as a defense against the overpowering Velociraptors. However, they would ultimately prevail and bring about his demise, as we later saw in Jurassic Park 3. Sadly, the only existent remnant of this scene is a still image capturing Udeski gripping a branch, an additional moment that likely could have contributed to more engaging duration for the movie, and something again that I'm sure fans would love to have seen as Udeski is one of the more fan-favorite characters from this movie. Iris's death scene from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom The trend of scenes being removed continued its way into Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. In the final version of the movie, the caretaker, Iris, appears to completely disappear from the final act. However, based on insights from the actress and the behind-the-scenes stills, it is revealed that she was originally intended to confront the Indoraptor and shield Maisie. In a film abundant with gratifying villainous deaths, this particular scene would have enhanced the movie's darker tone by showcasing the main monstrous antagonist killing the one genuinely caring person who looked after Maisie. Such an inclusion would have added depth to Iris' character, rather than relegating her to a disposable role. It could have invoked a similar impact as Zara's death scene from the original Jurassic World, heightening the emotional response of the narrative. Jurassic World Dominion's alternate final battle Based on recently unveiled concept art for the climactic battle in Jurassic World Dominion, it appears that the initial plan was for the final showdown was to unfold outside a research outpost. In this version, the Pyroraptor would have participated in combat against the Giganotosaurus instead of the Therizinosaurus. However, the precise fate of the Giganotosaurus in this alternate scenario remains undisclosed. But... If we speculate a little bit, it is possible that its demise might have involved a similar fate to how it snapped the neck of the Tyrannosaurus Rex millions of years ago, and it would have been a nice easter egg and a very similar event to the Jurassic World final battle, which also involved a Giganotosaurus with its DNA being used in the Indominus Rex. The alternate Pteranodon attack from Jurassic Park 3 Instead of the rushed and unsatisfying conclusion where the heroes are rescued by the military, 
There was originally planned to be a significantly longer action sequence that likely would have served as a more superior ending. This scene would have involved Alan Grant's revelation that it was the Pteranodons that had killed the men on the boat that brought Eric Kirby. As helicopters arrived, they would come under attack by a swarm of these prehistoric flying creatures, resulting in a gripping and adrenaline fueled escape. It is worth noting that the elements of this scene were later adapted and reimagined in a similar context within a scene featured in Jurassic World, where unfortunately Simon Masrani died in a helicopter crash. The deleted river raft scene from Jurassic Park. And finally, although there were plans and concept art for a scene directly adapted from the book, it was ultimately removed from the final script at the discretion of screenwriter David Coop who believed it would have felt repetitive in the overall narrative. However, this deleted sequence later served as an inspiration for the Universal Studios theme park ride. The original concept involved Alan Grant, Lex and Tim stumbling upon a river raft that they would utilize to navigate Isla Nublar effortlessly, granting them more opportunities to observe various dinosaur species. However, the tranquil scene would take a perilous turn when the unknowing drift passed a sleeping Rexy who would then awaken and give chase to the heroes, leading them through the water into a large lagoon. And there we have it, 11 deleted scenes from the Jurassic franchise. If you want me to continue something like this for future videos, where we just go over some more deleted scenes once we find out more about them, then feel free to please show your support down in the comments below and like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you're new around here as well. But as for today's video, Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're all staying safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just wanna thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.